As many of my regular viewers know, I don't have a proper connection for my MLA30 Plus to portable radios. So I often use the SMA cable they supplied and then an exposed bit of wire at the other end of that cable to just connect that to my portables. Of course, that's probably not ideal. I have done some tests comparing the MLA and a 10 meter wire, but the question is if the connection affects that. So I do have a proper connection on the Kenwood R1000, where it connects to the coaxial input. And then I thought, let's compare these two different types of connections. So what I'm doing in this video is I'm connecting the MLA, as I always do, just that exposed bit of wire on the SMA cable that I wrap around the whip antenna, like this. And then I use a crocodile clip just to hold it there. So that's what I will do on the portable on the XH data, D808. And then there will be a proper connection on the Kenwood R1000, the SMA cable, to its proper coaxial input. That's the adapter cable that I have there. So the Kenwood R1000 is connected in the best possible way, I think. And then I will compare signals on these two receivers. So my homemade way to connect my portable radio to the MLA and then the proper connection to the Kenwood R1000. And the idea is to see if there is a significant difference in the signal. Of course, the Kenwood R1000 is a much better receiver, so the sound quality is better. That's not the point here. Let's focus on the signal quality and let's see what happens. Indian operators who are 